And this is the weekly astrology for the week starting the 15th of December. Now this week, you won't be seeing my face because unfortunately, I've come out with a major rash all over my face and my lip is swollen. I've got some kind of hive allergic reaction which has been going on for a week. So the lovely Kathy Waite, my partner, in all things is making you a lovely little film to go with this week's astrology i wish you a happy holiday season and hopefully you get to see me next week gemini this week is a very intense week for you you're feeling deeper and deeper and deeper than deep there are issues around you this week which are all about power and transformation, boundaries, domination, manipulation, control, obsession and passion. And it's up to you to sort through these feelings and find the treasure. Funnily enough, as a Gemini, you tend to, if you're a typical Gemini and obviously dependent on the rest of your chart, you tend to intellectualize your emotions particularly actually some of your deeper, more scary emotions or emotions connected to love, jealousy, or the, the past, endings, difficult primal emotions. You can kind of think that you've dealt with them because you've sorted it out in your head and you're like, okay, great, I understand that intellectually. And that means that occasionally, or quite a lot, you push your primal emotions down and they may come up in other ways. This week, you're able to deal with some of those emotions. You'll see what you're really feeling. You may experience intense emotions out of the blue, but be careful that you don't get sort of consumed by things. It may be you see issues that are not there. It may be you become a bit suspicious. So you have to let that side go. I would personally would delve into the passionate side of it, surrendering yourself to some of maybe your desires that you push away and also know that it's an opportunity for you to look at how powerful or powerless you feel in the world. And it's a great time to ask yourself some questions like, do I feel powerless? What makes me feel powerless? What is my vulnerability? And if you do that, there can be great healing for you there because Mercury and a three planet stellium and Mercury and Venus are conjunct all in this energy on the 17th. It may be quite an emotional day. Also though, if there is any passion around you, it could be a day of great fireworks and great intensity. And you have the opportunity to transform, but it means looking into your shadow side, looking into the parts of yourself that you'd rather not see. There's a big shift in the way that you communicate and possibly actually you're cutting ties with somebody. Maybe it's a friend, possibly a lover, but something is transforming in the way that you communicate. We also have Uranus, the planet of unpredictability, going direct. Now Uranus brings about the unexpected. It's also genius of mind. And for you, you are able to really create your destiny again in an unexpected way. There may be an opportunity this week that you don't know is coming and it pops up and it's up to you to grasp it and to use all of yourself and to be the unusual and exciting human being you are to transform that moment into something that could give you long lasting success. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. I've got loads more free astrology on my website and lots of other free readings. www.michellenight.com. I'll see you there.